Uh, so I'm going to talk about efficient constant round multi-party computation protocol that combines uh, the, uh, the BMR protocol and speech protocol. And I'm Avishai and I, and this is joint work with Yehuda Lindel, Benny Pinkas, and Nigel Smart. So in multi-party computation protocol uh, problem, we have a set of parties with input, uh, pl uh, uh, with uh, private inputs, and the parties want to uh, compute some uh, joint function on, on their uh, inputs, uh, while preserving some uh, security properties like uh, uh, privacy and correctness. So uh, security must be guaranteed uh, even in the presence of uh, an adversary that corrupts uh, some of the parties. So in this work, we are focusing on uh, malicious and static adversary, and we're working on the settings of uh, dishonest majority. Um, so in efficient secure computation, we have uh, two main approaches, um, two main approaches. One of them is the GMW approach, and the second is uh, Yao. So in the GMW approach, uh, basically the, the players um, have an interaction for every gate in the circuit. Uh, so usually the players uh, uh, push the heaviest part of the computation uh, to the, to the offlink phase, and uh, which uh, leads to a very fast and thin online phase. Uh, this also leads to a very low bandwidth utilization uh, of the network. Um, uh, a protocol follow, uh, following this approach uh, also have a disadvantage uh, in that the number of uh, round uh, communication rounds uh, depends on the, uh, how complex is the function that they uh, want to compute. So uh, the more the complex uh, is, the, is the function, uh, it means that they need more communication rounds to, uh, to, compute, this, uh, to compute this function. Um, in the Yao approach, uh, the, the parties first uh, uh, com compute in the garbled circuit, uh, which, which means that they need to, co to uh, compute uh, heavy operation, heavy cryptographic primitives uh, in order to compute the garbled circuit. And uh, the computation of these uh, cryptographic uh, primitives uh, is also exists in the online phase, which means they have uh, heavy uh, uh, operations in the online phase. Uh, and since the garbled circuit has to be delivered somehow to all the players, they also uh, utilize a significant bandwidth uh, of the network. Uh, a big advantage uh, of protocols that follow the, the Yao approach is that um, they use a small constant, a small constant uh, number of uh, rounds of communication, um, uh, which uh, means that no matter how complex is the function that they want to compute, they will uh, only uh, make only constant uh, number of uh, round, uh, communication rounds. So in the two-party uh, case, we have a lot of protocols for both approaches. Uh, in the GMW, we have the tiny OT and speeds uh, from 2012. And um, for the Yao approach, we have a lot of protocols uh, uh, under the fast uh, cut and choose uh, class of protocols. And uh, basically, if we are working over, uh, over a slow network like the internet, we clearly choose uh, to work with uh, protocols that follow the, uh, the Yao approach. In the multi-party uh, case, the, situ the situation is uh, different. Uh, so in the GMW uh, uh, approach, we have the extension of the tiny OT and the speech protocols. Uh, those protocols um, make a large amount of, of rounds to compute the, the, uh, the circuit. Um, and we will uh, use those protocols only when we are working on um, settings of a uh, fast network like uh, uh, local area network. And what protocols do we have uh, that follow the Yao approach in multi-party case? Basically, we have uh, no such protocol. And in fact, we have the BMR protocol that uh, is some version uh, of, uh, is a multi-party version of, of the Yao uh, protocol. Uh, this protocol is efficient, uh, is very efficient for uh, the semi-honest case but is extremely inefficient when, uh, when working in the malicious case. Uh, because um, the, the protocol for the malicious case 
uh, require a generic uh, use of uh, zero knowledge. And this is uh, very inefficient. So let me uh, compare the state of the art protocol, tiny UTN speeds, with uh, BMR protocol for the multi party uh, case. So BMR has a constant uh, round, um, has a constant round uh, number of communication rounds, while the other uh, node. And um, what is it? Sorry. Um, all the protocols has uh, working in the dishonest majority. And only tiny UTN speeds uh, have a concrete efficiency and fast online phase. So the problem is that we don't know uh, of any protocol for the multi-party case that achieves both uh, concrete efficiency. Uh, it is secure uh, for the dishonest majority. It has a constant number of communication rounds and has a, a fast online phase. Um, and while we have a lot of protocols, uh, for the two-party case, uh, in the multi-party case is way behind and uh, we, we are missing uh, this uh, class of protocols. So uh, our goal in this work is to uh, construct such protocol that achieve those properties. So um, in order to describe the, the, our protocol, it is worth to, to uh, know the basics of the BMR protocol. So um, in this example, we have a gate G, which is part of the circuit that the player want to compute. And it has uh, two input wires, uh, A and B, and an output wire C. So for this example, we have uh, three uh, parties, P1, P2, and P3. And the first step is to compute two random keys for every wire in the circuit. Uh, those two random keys uh, represent, uh, one of them represent uh, the signal zero, and the other represent the signal one. Uh, the second, the second uh, thing that they do is to compute a PRG on, on their keys. Uh, so uh, they, they compute a PRG on their keys, and they also generate uh, one bit for every wire in the circuit. So here we have uh, three uh, three um, uh, bits, uh, lambda A, lambda, C, lambda B, and lambda C for wire A, B, and C. And the purpose of those bits is to hide the interpretation of uh, the keys. So if a party, if some party hold uh, one key for some wire, uh, it, it, uh, it's not necessar necessarily uh, knows uh, what is the interpretation of that key, what, what signal is passing uh, through that key. So all these uh, masking, bit, masking bits remain uh, secret during the execution of the protocol. Um, so after they uh, get all this data, they input it into another multi-party uh, computation protocol. Um, so in particular, uh, in BMI paper, they used the GMW protocol. And the GMW uh, produced the garbled uh, gate uh, the garbled table for this gate. The garbled table is four entries, uh, A, B, C, and D. So, uh, for example, if we look at um, the entry A, um, this is the result of uh, an XOR of three super keys. Uh, you can see the super key KA0, KB0, and either KC0 or KC1. And uh, each super key is a concatenation of, uh, of the three uh, keys for every wire of the circuit. Um, and um, which one of the, of the keys for wire C depends on the, on the masking, uh, masking bits. Now, um, uh, although GMW is not a constant round protocol, uh, all this computation is done um, in a fixed um, and, uh, and constant round uh, of uh, commun and constant uh, communication rounds, uh, because the the uh, the amount of computation here is uh, is already is constant. So um, this uh, a computation of one gate of a single gate requires a constant number of communication rounds. Now, because the computation of all the garbage gates um, are independent independent of each other. 
then uh, the computation of all the, all the uh, circuit uh, is done also in a um, constant number of communication uh, rounds. Um, so after they uh, achieved the, the, garbled, um, the garbled gates for all the gates in the circuit, the parties move to the online phase in which they only need to exchange <coughs> keys for the circuit input wires, um, for, for the circuit input wires. And once the parties have, uh, have uh, one key, one super key, which is a concatenation, once they have one super key for each uh, circuit input wires, uh, they can evaluate the circuit using the garbled gate that they computed in the offline phase. And this way they obtain the, um, the output of the circuit. So um, the first thing we do in order to achieve uh, an efficient protocol is to switch the, the invocation of GMW. Since GMW is not uh, an efficient protocol, so we switch it with uh, uh, one of the set of the R's protocol that we know. So we switch it with uh, speed. So the, the parties input the keys, the PRG values, and the masking bits into uh, uh, an invocation of speed. And speed produce this uh, table of four entries for every gate. Now, this is not enough because uh, in the BMR construction for a malicious case, the parties, uh, the computation of this garbled gate uh, includes inside it, its uh, circuit representation, it includes a representation of a circuit that computes the PRG. Um, and this makes the, the circuit representation uh, very large and makes the whole protocol very inefficient. So basically we want to reduce uh, the size of the circuit that garbled uh, the gate. So uh, a very important thing that uh, we observed is that uh, the circuit uh, representation of the PRG inside the garbling circuit is, uh, is, not, is unnecessary. We don't need it there. Um, this way, uh, the parties only uh, compute the PRG locally on their own and just input the result to, to uh, the speed invocation for every gate. Sorry. And um, if, if a player uh, cheated in one of the, the PRG that he, that he uh, input to the, to the speed invocation, then the parties will detect it in the online phase because they uh, will encounter uh, a garbled uh, circuit, a garbled um, gate. Uh, and they will encounter an invalid uh, garbled gate, and then they, they will abort. And we already know that uh, early abortion is, uh, is unavoidable in the dishonest uh, majority settings. So this way, uh, we solve the, the, the problem of the size of the circuit that computes the garbled gate. The second problem is the inconsistency of as a, is a potential of inconsistency of the masking bits. So, for example, if we have, uh, if we have uh, uh, one, uh, if we have a one gate, for example, with input wire C, uh, this is the red wire, and so it means that the players uh, provide their, uh, their masking bit for wire C, uh, for, for the computation of this garbled gate. Now, uh, assume we have another gate. Uh, the first one was G tag, and this is G. So the output uh, wire of gate G is the same uh, wire uh, is the same wire C that is uh, input to gate G tag. Now the parties also need to provide uh, this need to provide the the masking bit for for this invocation of speeds. So it means that the cheater. Uh, has the potential of, of, of providing two different uh, values for the masking bit for each invocation of speeds for every gate. So we want to remove this uh, potential. So what we actually do is uh, invoking one, uh, we do only one invocation of speeds computation for the entire circuit. We, we, garble, the, we garble all the gates 
uh, together. Uh, that means that the parties don't, uh, don't, this removes the potential of inconsistency because the parties uh, input only, uh, only, one, uh, only one time the, the masking bit for every wire in the circuit. Um, and because we can, we can do all the gates together, uh, in parallel, this re uh, remains the, the depth of, of the circuit of speeds uh, shallow. And in particular, we have uh, 13 multiplication operation uh, for AND gate and seven multiplication operation for uh, XOR gate. And we further um, optimize this solution by using some special feature uh, that speeds provide us. Uh, this special feature is that we can ask speeds to uh, generate uh, uh, a lot of, uh, of uh, random bits and store, store them uh, in its memory. So uh, what we do is uh, asking speeds to um, generate a, lof, a lot of masking bits uh, for us and store, store them in its memory. And when we want to, when we want to uh, compute the garbled uh, gates, we ask uh, speeds to, uh, to use the, the random bits that it uh, generated before. So this removes uh, completely the potential of uh, inconsistency because uh, the parties now don't even need to input those masking, uh, masking bits. Uh, another important uh, optimization is uh, regard to the uh, representation of the keys uh, uh, in our protocols. So in PMR, they used the keys as a bit strings. So in our protocol, we use uh, keys as uh, finite field elements. And this is first used in uh, the multi-party fair play implementation of uh, um, Benaim, and Nissan, and Pinkas in 2008. And, but they assumed a semi-honest and honest majority uh, settings, which is not um, the case in our protocol. So uh, as you remember, uh, the parties in the BMR, in the BMR circuit, garbled circuit con construction, uh, needed to, to use a concatenation of, of the keys that they obtained, the random keys. Um, so if one key uh, is an element from a uh, field of size 2 to the k, then a concatenation of n keys would result an element of uh, a field of size 2 to the n k. To the NK. So this is, uh, may result a huge uh, field size. For example, if we, if we use a, a security parameter of 128 and uh, we have eight participants in our protocol, this uh, would result um, a field of size 2 to 1024, which is uh, really huge. So um, in our protocol, we represent a concatenation of uh, n keys as a vector of n elements uh, from a field of size 2 to the k. Uh, that means that we, the, the field size is independent of the number of participants uh, that participate in the, pro in the protocol. This is a very uh, um, good improvement. And also, this allows us to uh, make operation over, over the, the super keys uh, in much more efficient than uh, the, they uh, were before. So um, this is a protocol uh, overview of the new protocol. We have two phases, uh, as before, offline and online. And our offline phase contains two stages. In the first stage, the parties don't, know, don't necessarily know the, the function that they uh, are willing to compute. Uh, and they only run the offline phase of uh, the speech protocol. And in the second stage of the offline, the parties do know the function, but not necessarily knows the, the inputs to the, uh, to the functionality and they uh, compute the only phase of speeds in order to generate the garbled uh, circuit of, um, of our uh, function. And in the online, as before, the parties only have to uh, exchange uh, the keys for the circuit input wires, and then they, are, um, they can evaluate the circuit on their own without further uh, interaction. And 
These are some um, estimated running time. When we use uh, key, uh, key size of 128 uh, bits, and the machine were over a local area network, and the parties computed uh, the AES encryption such that uh, some of the parties hold uh, part of the key and some of them hold part of the data that, that the AES uh, is going to encrypt. So if we look on um, the four-party um, uh, entry, we can see that the offline phase uh, takes around uh, 15 minutes, uh, but the online phase is really, really fast. There is no uh, such protocol today that achieves this, uh, this uh, uh, time of 50, 15 uh, milliseconds for the online phase. So to conclude, we managed to construct a protocol uh, with an offline phase uh, that's comparable to the most efficient protocol that we know today, like speed, and uh, it achieved a very fast online, uh, online. In particular, it has a constant number of communication rounds and um, allows the, the parties to locally evaluate uh, the circuit uh, without uh, any further uh, interaction. Um, to conclude, this is the first concrete, concretely efficient uh, constant round protocol for the multi-party case and the dishonest majority settings. And this is the uh, first efficient protocol that uh, follows the, uh, the YAO approach that, uh, that I've talked uh, about before. And that's all. Thank you.